Hi Scorpio, this is your Just Cause reading for September 2021. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for September 2021. In love, Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Scorpio for September 2021 in love. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Scorpio for September 2021 in love. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Scorpio. Scorpio, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you, Scorpio. This is you. This is your partner. So, Scorpio, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For September 2021, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Scorpio, is the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is either you or your partner coming in to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum, <clears throat> excuse me, a lump sum of money, a, a cash. <laughs> this can be about a lump sum of money, okay? This can also be about commitment, okay? It's coming to a screeching halt here, excuse me. Anyway, Scorpio, listen, something has slowed down tremendously here or something is like so slow coming. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio and their partner. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio and their partner. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio and their partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Scorpio, listen, you know, we could have came into some type of truth and clarity. And this caused everything to come to a screeching halt. You know, someone could be making a decision here, okay, to bring everything to a screeching halt. Someone could just be cutting things off, just, just cutting, just abruptly here okay however Scorpio listen something could have been a long time coming okay and it may be some victory here for you guys okay we'll see Scorpio you have the ten of wands you have the eight of wands you have yourself front and center the queen of cups your partner has the four of pentacles your partner has the five of cups and your partner has the two of pentacles so scorpio the mutual point of interest in what's on both you guys' minds is listen we could have came into some type of truth and clarity here that caused us to just put everything on hold listen we someone could be making a decision here to go on hold you know, someone could use this sword to sever and we're just kind of stagnant here. Something abrupt here, okay? Scorpio, very well could be something a long time coming, okay? Concerning some type of victory here, Scorpio. We could have went stagnant and we're having this communication after a long period of stagnation. Scorpio, you have the Ten of Wands 
Aries, Leo, or Sag, something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you, Scorpio. This is a 10, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. Clarify the 10 of Wands for Scorpio. Clarify the 10 of Wands for Scorpio. Clarify the 10 of Wands. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the Four of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's an offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending a offer, but you fear that the offer would be rejected. So Scorpio, listen, you know, it just seems like this is a tough situation and you're thinking about missing the offer. But Scorpio, it's just like you're burdened by the whole thing and you're just thinking about, hey, I don't even want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. However, Scorpio, you may want to send this offer out and it's just so heavy on you. It's weighing heavy on you. You just fear they won't accept it. Scorpio, you have the Eight of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel, but this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face-to-face -face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So Scorpio, listen, something could be happening quickly here. Remember when I said something could be abrupt, okay? You can tell me that you guys had a heated discussion or argument, some type of communication here, throwing fiery dots at one another. Scorpio, you can tell me that someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Clarify the eight of wands for Scorpio. Clarify the eight of wands for Scorpio. Clarify the eight of wands for Scorpio. Cannot. It is clarified with the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. Could be dealing with this Libra or Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting Scorpio. Listen, you may be getting in a heated argument with this person, Scorpio. You can tell me that, hey, this person was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. And I hope that no one's expecting because of it. Clarify the Empress for Scorpio. Clarify the Empress for Scorpio. Clarify the Empress for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Seven of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Scorpio, listen, you guys could have gotten into a heated discussion or argument here over the fact that there was some type of lies or illusions, or the fact that someone had other options and may have explored some of those other options. Someone could have been communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else, Scorpio. I feel like there's an argument because there's some type of confusion going on, and you may need to get to the truth. Scorpio, you have the Queen of Cups. This is you, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. Scorpio, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Scorpio. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Scorpio. What about Scorpio? What about Scorpio? Clarify the Queen of Cups for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. Scorpio, you could be... Mm -mm. What? 60 minutes. 
what is this? <laughs> Listen, Scorpio, you could be dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion, Scorpio. So you could be dealing with this fire sign, or you're wanting to take action. Clarify the Queen of Wands. I'm sorry, yeah, for Scorpio. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Scorpio. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of eye, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here, Scorpio. So, Scorpio, listen, your guard is up with this person, okay? Either you're taking action to have your guard up, or you could be dealing with fire, okay? You just don't trust them. You're guarded. You're standing by it. You're, you just don't want it. Scorpio, I feel like you just made the decision to bring everything to a screeching halt with this person, Scorpio. Scorpio, your partner has the four of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner holding back, holding off, keeping something close to their chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Scorpio, listen, your partner could be closed off, blocked off, not opening up. Scorpio, your partner could be keeping something close to their chest here, okay? Or being stingy. Clarify the four of pentacles for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the four of pentacles for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the four of pentacles for Scorpio's partner. Ten of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. Scorpio, listen. <laughs> you know, your partner could tell me that you guys had this commitment, marriage, living together, situation, family dynamics, and in it, they were just kind of closed off here. Scorpio, your partner could tell me that this commitment, marriage, living together, situation, family dynamics came to an end based on something that they kept close to their chest or by them being stingy with household responsibilities, okay? Scorpio, I hope that this person wasn't keeping close to their chest something about a family dynamics because we have this empress sitting here. This is a pregnant woman here. Was there some type of lies or illusion? Did someone have other options here? Did they start a family? This is, this is what they kept close to their chest. Some type of truth that caused you guys to go stagnant. Scorpio, your partner has the five of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is your partner feeling remorse and regrets, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that was spilled out, all the effort and energy that was spilled out, all the love that was spilled out. Your partner is mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So Scorpio, your partner is hurt and mourning, yes, but they could also be feeling remorse and regret, Scorpio. Clarify the five of cups for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the five of cups. For Scorpio's partner. Clarify the five of cups for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner is trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And they have all the tools and resources available to them to manifest whatsoever they will. They have the water element, the earth element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, they can manifest. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner's trying to make something happen. Clarify the magician for Scorpio's partner. 
Clarify the magician for Scorpio's partner. So sticky. Clarify the magician for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Scorpio, listen, <laughs> your partner could be feeling remorse and regret, so they're trying to manifest giving you something over here, and you, you're not taking it. You don't want it, Scorpio. But Scorpio, listen, your partner could also be feeling remorse and regret for being manipulative and trying to manifest giving more somewhere else, giving to two, having these other options. Scorpio, your partner has the two of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I, will I, won't I. This can be your partner managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So, Scorpio, your partner could be weighing things up, trying to decide something here. However, could have been some juggling going on. Clarify the two of pentacles for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the two of pentacles for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the two of pentacles for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the two of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. Scorpio, <clears throat> your partner could be weighing things up here, okay? Trying to decide about a connection here. But Scorpio, your partner could also tell me that they were juggling because they have a connection with someone else. And it very well could be that they're keeping something close to their chest. It could be some type of family dynamics going on over there, Scorpio. Scorpio, your partner could also feel like, hey, I just don't know what to do because Scorpio is my soulmate. And they want to give you something, but you don't want it because this situation is too tough to deal with, Scorpio. So I feel like we just cut everything off. Okay, I feel like we came into some truth and clarity and we cut everything off. Scorpio, this is your Just Cause reading for September 2021. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.